what can we say to a student who is interested in meditation but feels they are unable to meditate in one case a person said their mind races too much another felt she would get dizzy the moment you sit for meditation and if you meditate then you don't need meditation hmm? meditation is to calm the mind bring the mind together if you are already restful peaceful why do you need meditation meditation is a sort of medication who needs medication only when you feel sick the same way when you feel the disturbance in the mind then you try to calm down the mind and that's why you practice meditation so don't get eh, disappointed that you couldn't meditate right away nothing is achieved overnight when did you run to walk or learn to walk or run from the beginning no when you were a baby you couldn't even stand up you could couldn't even crawl then you gradually gradually learned to walk and learned to run so meditation also is like that the same meditation comes after concentration according to patanjali <coughs> dharana and dhyana dharana means mind runs here and there you bring it back to the point of meditation again it will run the other direction bring it back the constant struggle running mind bring it back running mind bring it back <coughs> and then slowly 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 you get used to keep in one place meditate and again the meditation becomes easy if you know why you want to meditate what's your aim because you feel tired eh? of running around eh? you feel eh? unhappy with your restless mind eh? so you learn to meditate that means you should get tired of running around <coughs> that's why i often feel happy when somebody says i am sick and tired of the whole thing <coughs> hmm? when you are sick and tired then you will try to seek hmm? become a seeker first and then become a seeker hmm? adversities are blessings in disguise hmm? who will enjoy the food well the one who is really hungry if you are not hungry you can't enjoy the food 
So make yourself hungry, thirsty for the truth. If you do yourself don't make the nature, the world will make you hungry. The purpose of the nature is that to give you all the problems. That's why the nature never makes you happy. It always creates problem. <clears throat> I don't know why they call it Mother Nature. Mother seems to be giving a lot of problem. Why? Because you forgot the father, you are running only to the mother. Mother Nature says, I can't make you happy always. Hmm? Temporarily, yes, for a little while you can ha be happy with your possessions, with your name, with your fame, hmm? with your wealth. But they cannot make you happy always. That's what the Mother Nature says. When you run to the mother, for the happiness, they say, honey, I can't make you always happy. Hmm? You want permanent happiness? Go to the father. Hmm? The Tamil scripture says, know the mother first and then through the mother know the father. Really it's true. Who knows the father well? Who knows your true father is? Only the mother. So run around, get sick, make yourself miserable, and then look for a place where you can find some peace. Hmm? So that is the nature's way. So looking for peace <coughs> happens only when you miss the peace. Look for example the modern what happened yesterday September 11th. Hmm? Until that time, we seem to be happy. But God created a problem to find the real happiness. That is the reason why all the obstacles all the pain that we get is helpful to find the final gain. So don't get disappointed huh, that you couldn't meditate right away. <clears throat> keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. Create an interest in meditation. <clears throat> When would you create the interest? When you are tired of all other things. When you love it, then it becomes natural. Ask the mind, why are you running here and there? The mind will say, I love that. The mind runs to what it likes, what it loves more. If you can develop a, a good liking to his meditation, then the mind won't run here and there. 
create a loving relationship in your meditation. You must want that. You must love that. Once Ramakrishna Paramahamsa was approached by a young man, he asked, how can I make myself fit to know God? <clears throat> he said, okay, I'll give you the answer. Let's go and have a bath. So he took the boy to the Ganges, hmm? both went a little deeper into the river. Then all of a sudden, he put the hand on his head and pushed him under the water and held him under the water. He was wrestling. He didn't leave him. And at a point, he thought it is enough. He took the hand off. He Then he said, my son, what were you thinking when you were under the water? Were you thinking of your business? Thinking of going to the movie? Thinking of eating something nice food? My God, how can I think all that? I wanted a little breath, a little air. That's all I needed. Oh, suppose I had given you some food under the water? Who wants all that? I want only the breath. Okay. If you create a want like that to know God, you will certainly know God. So the want must be there. Not for the fun. Oh, I'm also meditating. Sit there, meditate. Hmm? Where will the mind meditate? Hmm? Hmm? Upon a nice movie, eh? nice eh? other things you like more. Hmm? So develop that keen thirst eh? to meditate. If you don't develop it yourself, the nature will help you to develop that. <laughs> hmm? It's almost like you should get burnt well. Hmm? Suppose you hold the cup of water. <sighs> Why did you put this hot? Huh? Hmm? It's too hot. Shall I drop it? Huh? It's too hot. Shall I drop it? No. If it is too hot, I won't be waiting for your permission to drop it. <laughs> yeah. My holding the cup and asking you permission to drop itself means it's not burning enough. See? If it burnt enough, I won't wait for your permission. The same way. If you get really burnt well, you don't have to need, you don't need an invitation to come for meditation. So get burnt well. <laughs> Indecision causes most of the stress. Indecision causes most of my stress, my stress. I believe the underlying cause comes from a poor level of self-worth. I know I'm better than that, but I keep myself down. How can I be decisive? Oh, stretch management, TT. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hmm. 
I believe the underlying cause comes from the poor level of self-worth. I know I am better than that, but I keep myself down. Keep it down. What brought you here for the stress management TT? What, what made you to come for the program? As I said before, you had problems, you couldn't handle it, to get stressed, then you came to the program to manage. So it's the beginning. It's the beginning. Sure, you will know how to handle it. Keep up that program. Another thing you should know when you get into all these programs, you are indirectly trying to bring your own dirty mind, monkey mind, under your control. And the mind knows that. So if, it, if the mind allows you to continue the program, one day you will have the control, good control over your mind. The mind doesn't want it. The mind wants to control you. So it's a, it's a fight between you and your mind. The mind says, I am the boss. You say, no, I want to be the boss. So the mind will put all the obstacles in your practices. All kinds of excuses, reasons not to do this. It's all your mind's trick. So don't give up. Keep up that good work. Certainly one day you will achieve the goal. And when you achieve the goal, you'll be very happy, very proud of it also. Sometimes people ask me, why can't this God who created me keep me always happy and peaceful? Well, that's what God wanted to do. But then, in his company, he had some wise people. I mean, God's company. So one of the wise person got up and said, God, don't make them happy always. If you make them happy, they won't even relish it. They won't enjoy it. Let them earn it. Well, how can I do that? I'm happy. I want everything to be happy in my image. It's all right. True, they are your image. But let them not know that first. Keep that a secret. Hide it from them. Oh, where can I hide the happiness? Shall I bury it under the ground? No, no, he will explore that one day. Shall I put it under the sea? He has made big submarines to go under the ground, under the sea. 
how about somewhere in the sky? He has big planes here. He will find wherever you put, he will locate, he will find it easily. So, which is the best place to put? One place he never sees, at least for now. Where is it? Put it in his own heart. He won't see it first. He will always see outside. Because our senses are created to see things outside, to hear from outside, see from outside, smell from outside. He won't turn inside. So let him run around, searching for that. One time, when he gets tired of all that, he will try to look within. At that time, when he realizes, he will relish it much. Because he worked hard to get the happiness, he got it, he will enjoy it. That is the reason our peace, our joy, is inside first. Mm. 